hello guys and welcome to the channel so i uh, it's been a while i posted any video on the channel and i decided to start off the year with this one and i'm gonna be stop using create react app now everybody knows that react is the most popular front-end javascript framework yeah but i'm gonna stop using create react app and here's why so it's been a long time be that it was since updated so if you look here in npm you see that it was updated it was updated 10 months ago and there's so many issues that have been unresolved if you scroll down here you see that you have 1520 issues that you know have been unresolved since that period and of course if you check on this weekly downloads you see that it's also declining so as at last year april we had 271,000 downloads per week but you see as i keep coming down it's reducing so that shows that a lot of people are starting to move away from create react app and personally i'm not one to you know run after any shiny technology right but this has actually gotten to the point where we actually need to find something else so for from now on what i'm going to be using is going to be vit so if you come to vitjs.dev i like to call it vite actually but it's pronounced vit so if you come to vitjs.dev you're going to see this interface here and just click on get started and then so what is vit so vit essentially is not a framework but it's a build tool right the difference is that it's a lot much faster than when you use like a regular create react app so let's see how we can get started with this so i'm just going to scroll down here and you see this command when you're working with npm right i'm working with npm so i'm going to use this but if you're working with yarn you can use this so i'll click copy here and i'm just going to bring that down so i have an empty folder here i'll open this folder in visual studio code i have so much projects right now in visual studio code so right here i'm going to paste in that command so it's npm create vit at latest just go ahead and click on enter and i'm just going to take this up a bit so that we can see So the first thing it asks you is the project name so in my case the name of my project i'll just say uh vit demo so vit hyphen demo and that's it i'll hit enter and then it asks you to select the framework you want to use so you see it's not just react you can create a view project on vit and these are the other options so but in our case i'm just going to go with react and then i'll hit enter okay great so it asks me next that do i want to use react with just um plain vanilla javascript or with typescript so i'm just going to go ahead and keep it simple and go with vanilla javascript and as you can see it has shown me the next set of commands to run so first off you need to cd into bit demo folder you just created so i'll just come here and say cd and then the name of the folder is vit hyphen demo hit enter on that and that's going to take us inside that folder then next you need to type npm install so by just running this npm create vit at latest you don't actually get all the packages that you need but i'm going to run npm install now so i'll come here and say npm install and then i'll hit enter now what's going to happen is that it's going to install all of the dependencies that we need to run our react app so technically it's still a react app but we're just building it via vit So in less than a minute um my packages have been installed so now what we need to do next is to run this npm run dev and that's going to fire up our react application so i'll just come here and say npm run dev and hit enter on that so almost immediately it tells me that i can now view my application at this url so you know what i'm just going to copy it because i have so many browser tabs open and i want to use this specific one and then I'm just going to open that here and hit enter. Voila. So this is our Vit React app. So right now we have our app um, running. And as you can see, I hope you appreciate how fast that was. So permit me to bring this down for just a minute and just open my folder structure here. And you see here that we have this Vit demo. If you open this guy up, you see here that we now have node modules and everything we need right okay so you can go ahead and start creating your react app you can create your components and everything so this is your app.jsx and you see like it's like your regular react app you know what let me just make some changes to it so i'm just going to remove everything that is inside of this application here 
oh i did that too fast so i'll remove everything here like so and i'm just going to change this to hello world and that needs to be inside the h1 tag i'll tap that and say hello world like so and then i'll just save and watch what happens And just like that, we have our Hello World on the page. So you can go ahead and just build out your React app from this um, area here. Now, there are some differences that, just a few minor differences that you need to be aware of while you are working with Vite. So in your regular React app, if you open the public um, folder, that's where you're going to see your index.html. Um, you know what? Let me actually just open it and show you quickly. So this is a react app right here and if you open the public folder you see here that's where we have our index.html and our fav icon as well as our logo so unlike that in vids you have your source folder and inside the source folder um that's where you have your react icon which is this svg here or rather and then that's also where you have your index.html so if you come here Oh, okay the index.html is actually in the root folder so if you come here that's where you're going to see your index.html unlike in your create react app where it's hidden away inside a public folder so just a few differences that you just need to pay attention to so but that's about it for what i'm going to be using both on my tutorials and and my courses moving forward and moving forward we're going to be creating a lot of react um, and mern stack tutorials on the channel uh, so if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe and leave a like on this video to support the channel if you want to check out any of my courses and you want to connect with me i'm going to leave a link in the description to our newsletter and a link to all of our co premium courses thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video